Laura. You are so sweet. But you don't have to do that. See, I'm not going to make you sleep on the floor. That's not what I meant. I meant... We could share the bed. As in... I'm the only one you can trust. Oh, yeah? Well, I, I mean, you, you you came up here because you said you're trying to mend fences. You're trying to, trying to welcome even to the family. Absolutely. I mean, you say that with such conviction, yet every fiber of my being is telling me that, that you're full of it. <laughs> I'm up here trying to marry you, aren't I? Are you? By saying, by saying that I don't love my bride? It seems more like you're trying not to marry us. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's a mistake to cancel the judge, Jack. Let me see that efficient card. I already showed it to you. Show us again. Just as I thought. This is no good. This card. This card is nothing. Your license. Your license to officiate any weddings is expired. Expired. Family. You said we're family, yet you have no problem stabbing me in the back. Sis, sis, you threw me under the bus. No, you're no, 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 no. That's not true. That's not true. Look, I asked my son, Sonny, if that license ever expired, and he said no. I'm sorry, it did. But you know what? I only think that's because I love you. And to watch you just waste your life with this horrible woman. What? To watch you so focused on what she's brainwashed you into thinking you want. When the only thing you should be focused on is trying to get back the one woman who ever loved you. Jack, that is Jennifer Rose Harden. Without my knowledge. Oh, sure. Please just listen to no, me. No, I can no, explain. No, no, no. You said you were sworn that you were okay with this. Oh, come on. I was never okay with any of this. You know, when I asked you if you were going to marry Haley, whether I agreed or not, you said yes. No, no, no. What I said was I hoped I didn't have to make that choice. Oh, oh, okay. So in other words, I either get on board with pretending my, my boyfriend dumped me to marry another woman, or I object and I ruin Haley's one chance to stay in this country, and my boyfriend dumps me for real. Right? So, so either way here, I'm losing. Well, I knew the whole thing was a fraud from the beginning, and now I have proof. I'll be deporting Miss Chen immediately. You can't, you can't do that. You gotta Thank you, on. Claire, for your service to your community and to your country. 
Okay, look, I know you're really angry right now, but like Agent Smith said, I, I'm i just doing my civic duty. I know what you did was unforgivable. I, I knew that you were selfish. Look, I, I know, I know that you can't see it right now. Just trust me on this, okay? Marrying Haley is not what was best for anyone. No, all you care about is what's best for you. Okay, I did this for everyone. Okay, so we can all just move on with our lives. And look, look, Haley, Haley is going to love China. It's really great over there. I've been there a bunch of times. Look, we can visit her when we go over there to see my parents. Claire can have all the time she wants with Miss Chen in China, but Mr. Dalton will be going straight to prison. No, you, you, you can't send Trip to prison. If anyone's the criminal here, it's Haley. Uh, can't you see? Like, we're all just trying to help. What I see doesn't matter. In the eyes of the law, Miss Chen attempted to defraud the United States government. And Mr.